Welcome to the Inland Fisheries Ireland application portal. This short presentation will take you through the easy steps to register and make an application for funding. You can access the online application portal from the Inland Fisheries Ireland website by going to www.fisheriesireland.ie forward slash funding. Click on the Apply Now button to go to the funding portal. First time users, registration. If you are a first time user, you will need to register before submitting an application. Just click on Applicant Registration. Here you will be asked to enter your details and align yourself with an organisation. Start by typing your organisation name. If someone from your organisation has registered on the system already, the name will appear here. If so, just click on it. If not, you will need to register your club or organisation. This is easy and we will talk you through that in a minute. Add your contact information accordingly. You will also need to indicate whether you hold a salmon licence or a Midland Fisheries Permit. This is important, as it will allow you apply for grants under these funds. Only applicants that have paid a salmon licence or a Midland Fisheries Permit are eligible to apply for respective funds. If you click Yes and don't have your number to hand, don't worry, you can provide that later. Once you have entered all the information, just click Submit. If your organisation has not been registered previously, you must select Click Here to register your organisation. Click on the organisation type from the drop-down list that suits your organisation best. Now you are ready to enter your organisation name and details, followed by your own contact details as explained earlier. Once you have provided all the information required, click Submit. Logging in for the first time. An email will be sent to you with a temporary password and a link to the system. To log in for the first time, click on the link and in the Login section, enter your email address and the temporary password. When you log in for the first time, you will be asked to change your password. For security reasons, your password must be a minimum of eight letters with one uppercase and one number. For example, phishing1. Once you log in, you will see the welcome screen titled Your Workbench. If you want to change any of your personal account details, click on your name and select Personal Profile. To return to the Workbench screen, simply click Home. The Shortcuts section includes links to guidance documents for the funds available, as well as a user manual for the application form. We strongly recommend that you read these guides before submitting your application. Also in this section, you can contact Inland Fisheries Ireland by email with any queries. Under Open Calls, you will see the funds that are currently open, including further details on the fund, the deadline for application and the Apply button to start your application. Under My Applications, you can look at any application you have in progress, you have submitted or indeed have been approved, closed or declined. These will be visible any time you log in. Finally, under Queries, any correspondence from Inland Fisheries Ireland will display here. OK, let's make an application. Let's select this fund as our example. The forms are similar for each. Once you click on the Apply Now button, you will be asked to choose a category for your project. It is important to get this right at the start as it drives the relevant questions in the form. You can choose as many categories as you wish to reflect your project as accurately as possible. If you need more information on what the categories are, you can click on the green bar. Once you are finished, click Proceed, and this will bring you into the main application form. The tabs across the screen represent sections of the application form, and like stated earlier, these tabs display depending on the category of project you are applying for. Before we get into the application form, let's look at some useful items to help you progress your application. You are automatically assigned an application number. This is visible on the top of the page, as well as the category of project you are applying for. 
If you need to change the category at any stage, just click on Change Categories. Helpful tips on completing the form can be found by clicking on the Instructions button. You can click on this at any time, just click again for them to disappear. Application PDF If you would like to view your overall application at any point, you can click on Application PDF. Invitations tab If you want another member of your club or from another organisation to input onto your application, click on the Invitations tab. Click the plus to add their details and invite them to collaborate on your application form. This person will receive an email from the system with instructions on how to proceed. They will then be able to fill out the form with you. Just click Main to go back to the application form. Save Draft At the bottom of each screen, there is a Save Draft button. We recommend that you click Save Draft often. This will ensure that if you leave the application at any stage and come back, that you can pick up from where you left off. There is no need to complete the application in one sitting. Let's now look at the first tab of the application form and work from there. Applicant and Partner Details Much of this will be filled already from your registration information. Here you need to tell us who you have discussed your project with at Inland Fisheries Ireland and what partner agencies and stakeholders you're working with. Please get in touch with us before submitting an application to discuss your project idea. Project Overview In this section you should provide us with some introductory details on your project and where it is located. You will be asked to upload a photograph of the site. You will also be asked for location information, including plotting your project on a map and uploading a site map. This helps us to understand where your project is located. Instructions on how to use the map are included in the text at the bottom. Drop the pin to your project location, click Save and press OK. To return to the form, just click the X. Project Description Next, you will be asked to explain your project to us in a bit more detail. Here, add a project description. You can add a development plan or supporting documents if relevant. Next, explain how your project will contribute to the objectives of the call. This is important, as this will help us evaluate your project. Finally, detail how your project will deliver value for money and the maintenance plan you have for the project. Project Plan In this tab you should outline the elements in your project plan and the timeline and person responsible. To add your project's plan, click on the Projects Tasks Add Stroke Edit. Instructions on how to insert the tasks are outlined in light blue. Click on the plus sign to add your first task, and so on. Once you are finished entering your tasks, click on Save and then Close to return to the application form. The tasks you have entered will now appear on your screen. Budget. You can enter your budget details in a similar manner to the project plan. Here you must enter each element of your budget. For governance and audit reasons, you must supply three quotes for each item in the budget. Press the plus sign to add more budget items. Once you are finished, press Save and Close to return to the form. You must then upload quotes to support the costs included in the budget. Information is required on any funds you will contribute to the project. Details on match funding can be found in the Funds Guideline booklet. Next, tell us about any funding or projects you have completed previously.
permissions. For projects undertaking works, we need to know whether you are on or near a designated site. This is an area that has been identified for its environmental or historic importance, and great care is required in undertaking projects on or around these areas. You can find out whether your project is on or near these locations by following the instructions on the screen. If applicable, you may then be asked to upload environmental reports, such as screening for an appropriate assessment or an environmental impact statement. On this page, you will also be required to upload any relevant permissions for your project. These include things like landowner permissions, national parks and wildlife service permissions, planning permissions. An overview of required permissions can be found in the Funds Guideline for Applicants document. Publicity. Some simple questions now that help Inland Fisheries Ireland to understand where you heard about the call and the publicity you plan for your project. Terms and conditions. Once you have read through the terms and conditions and agree, you can then submit your application. So that's it. In summary, you should ensure that 1. You allow ample time to complete the online application process. 2. Give as much detail as you can in your application to support your request. 3. Save your work regularly. This will ensure information provided is not lost. 4. Include all required information in the application. 5. Get someone to review your work to ensure everything is included. We hope that you found this short demonstration useful. Remember, if you have any queries, help is always at hand from the Project Office, Monday to Friday, 9am to 5pm. On behalf of Inland Fisheries Ireland, we wish you well in your application process.